Play of the game. Hello everybody, this is Levon here, and we are back to the Crooked Man, and, uh, we've got a revolver and pistol, and no idea what I need to do now. Well, I still have this bloody key, so I guess I should figure out where that goes. What? Ow! God damn it! Oh, come on now! Persistent. Fluffy, over here. I don't want. Get over here. Don't let that monster near you. Oh, god damn it! Where is it now? Well, I'm gonna check upwards. Uh. Where, where, where? Of all the times for. Of all the times for Fluffy to run. Uh, right. Here we go. Guess I'll figure out a whoops. I'll figure out where he ran to. <coughs> Come on now. Well, let's check the rooftop again. He might be there. There he is! Mr. Day, help. Over here, Fluffy. Don't let it. Don't get. Oh, wow. It's really after. Really after, Fluffy. Why? That is a really good question. Don't let it catch you. Run away. I'll take care of it. Okay. Well, guess I'm fighting it. Uh. Oh, god damn it. Oh shit. Guess I can't hit, uh... Oh, wait, did I hit? Okay. <clears throat> Don't come near Fluffy again, monster. Tuh. And Sparta kick off the building. I don't know how many times I shot it, but it wouldn't even... even not even it could survive that. I'm sorry you had to go through that, but it's all okay now. Oh, what's wrong? Are you hurt? Please don't tell me you got sh Why? Hmm? It's so scary, but I kept hanging in there, and I just want to go home. So why won't- Oh... Does Mama hate me? Fluffy. So she'll never come back for me. I'm just an unwanted kid. It's not. It's not. It's. <clears throat> it's not your you. Oh, flashback. I'm going to Mr. Policeman. I see. Okay, I'll go with you. I can go there myself. You shouldn't be alone at night. I'm tough kid. I could make it alone, even if Mama isn't there. Even if Mama isn't there, I won't cry. Wait, what? Feel like it's gonna explode. Oh, don't tell me it's back. Well, Fluffy's gone. He left on his own. No, your mother didn't hate you. <clears throat> it was you who lost faith in her. What I've been doing here, wandering, wandering these ruins, looking for a man I don't know. Oh, jeez. Nothing will change. Oh, jeez. Don't. All right. Wait. Wait a second. Why can't I? Oh, okay. All right. Uh. Right. Uh. 
What do I do now? Huh? Sounds like a woman's voice. So she did come for him. That's good. I'm a, a past look. It's coming from the clinic side. I'll check it out. Uh. Uh. Where? Where do I go? Uh. What? Where? <clears throat> okay, not there. <clears throat> this isn't where the voice is coming from. Okay. Guess I'll check these areas. Not there. Okay. <coughs> Wait, was that door always a jar? Okay. Uh. Ooh, who's that over there? What? Hey, who are you? Oh, hey! Uh... What? Mom? Oh, jeez. Well, the ch How can you be here? I hate hustling. You're in my family, yet you abandoned... You're sick, Mom, so... So you left me. My own family couldn't stand me. Ouch. No, you're wrong. Oh, jeez. Who are you? My mom couldn't possibly be here. Why are you trying? Why are you pretending to be here? <clears throat> it hurts you. Don't do it, David. And it's like, just like it did then. Are you going to try to kill me again? Oh, wow. <clears throat> well, it hurts so much, Davy. What? What? Did I just did I just get a bad ending? Oh, who are you? Why are you in my house? What did you do to my husband? Answer me. <clears throat> Mom, please stop. You keep saying things like that. Dad left a long time ago. Okay, did you forget? Shut up, intruder. I don't know anyone like you. I'll call the co police on you. Don't tell me you're already going senile. Oh, uh, you don't suppose she got Alzheimer's? <coughs> Please take a rest for today. I'm tired from work. Just tell me if I'm a bother. Did you think I know you? Get out of here. Ow. Ouch. What are you saying? Did I do something wrong? Please, just tell me what, if I did something wrong. Are you teasing me? Because it's not funny. Please, Mom. I'm not your mother. I don't know you. Get out. <coughs> Enough. Oh. Oh, so this what? Damn. David? Hey, what do you do? So you're trying to kill her? Whoa. So he did had a stress and I guess uh anger. He almost tried to kill her. It appears to be a brain tumor. Okay, so my idea So Alzheimer was definitely off the mark. But it was close uh somewhat close enough if it affected the brain. Uh snick fit pressure on her brain. Sun change in behavior. Violent actions and memory loss could be Designs of a brain disease. <laughs> it's not your fault. Don't be distraught. In some cases, counseling to resolve friction in a family can uncover an illness. Maybe I shouldn't say this, but this kind of thing happens all... Really? It's nice that you're being blood, but that kind of thing shouldn't be said if there 
if it's uh, happening to a person for the first time. <clears throat> if we had noticed it a little sooner. Back to the topic here, Mother. She appears to be very weak. We'll just have to po postpone the operation for now. We've hospitalized her for the time being, and her condition will influence our decision. Hopefully it won't be too long. Please come by to see her often. Even if she doesn't seem to know you, she is family. No. We're not family anymore. Don't, don't say we are. If I hadn't stopped just like that, I would have. I would never have been forgiven for it. There really was hatred in me, and it's true I've abandoned her in the hospital. <coughs> she was my only family, my precious mother who cared for me after my father left, and yet I... You tried to kill her. My wish never came true. My dreams, love, and even family are all go awry. I can't have anything that's not crooked. What have I been searching for? I don't have to anymore. It's obvious now. <clears throat> there was only one way from. Oh, God damn it. Don't tell me. David, drop. David, drop that gun. Okay. Oh, hello. There, David hasn't answered a single call. What is he up to and where? Oh, uh, what should we do? I knew we shouldn't have left David alone. <clears throat> Marin, get a hold of yourself. How can I be calm about this? And rightfully so. David's so worn out for things with his mother and Shirley. He even suffered over old wounds. I was always scared for him. Scared that he'd do something there, no, there was no turning back from. I suggested moving to get his mind clear, but that didn't help. Now did it. <coughs> it wasn't a bad idea, but it was a mistake for me to pick that place. Huh? Why? I'll call again. If he doesn't answer, we're calling the police. What do you mean? Why would that room be... Tuh! Don't tell me ghost stories at a time like this. Always talking about you see things, and. <coughs> David? David, where are you? Central Hospital? It's a state o- Why are you all the way over there? Listen, I'll find you, so wait for me. Don't so much as move a muscle. <clears throat> don't come. Please don't. Leave me alone. Oh, God. David's definitely going through suicidal thoughts. He's another state. It'll take about a day to get there on my motorcycle. Marin, I'm going to get David. I'm going with you. David is my friend, too. I just can't ignore him at a time like this. All right. Let's go. So. Okay. David's car. He's got to be here. Come on, it's dark, so stay behind me. All right. Okay, so I am... Uh, controlling Paul and Marin now, so. <clears throat> Here we go. What? There's an upstairs. That you, David? <clears throat> uh. Oh, yeah, I don't. I'm not David, so I don't have anything. <clears throat> Well, I guess I'll check. I'll check room. Hang on, let's see what Paul would say. <clears throat> okay, he. It doesn't look like he have much say. Speaking of, oh, come on now. Uh, was this, was this for the one with the bloodline? Oh, hey, who's there? What are you doing here? Huh? Where are you? Okay. What are you doing in this old place? You hate sissies like me, don't you? What? <coughs> but your friend is important to you, right? 
Hey, who the who the heck are you? What's this about? Go see him. Wait, why is Sissy here? Man, what the hell is that? Whoa. Okay, never mind. Okay. Okay. I guess here we'll do. Okay, maybe not there. Where could he be? Where could David be? Oh, hey! Someone else. David? <clears throat> hey, who are you? Hey, it's D! Yo. The hell? What are you doing here all alone? Uh. Yeah, he's your friend, right? Go and save him. Tell him the truth. Tell him the truth? What? I'm counting on you. Uh. There's so many people. I don't get it. Tell him the truth. <clears throat> okay. Oh, he's down. I remember he's down here. Okay, so this is... Not down here, though. Where else could David... Oh, wait. You don't suppose he went to the roof? That would the only... That would be the only... There was a crooked man who walked a crooked mile. Okay. Kid, don't tell me there's kid wandering here. <coughs> he found a crooked pen sixpence upon a crooked stile. He bought a crooked cat, which caught a crooked mouse. Oh, Fluffy. Kid, what are you doing? And they all lived together in a crooked little house. Hey, you listening to me? Then he... Had a crooked thought. Why is crookedness my lot? Why must I be crooked instead of being not? So the crooked man would cry, and he couldn't fathom why. He was sad all the time, and then, and he sighed. So he... Mr. David's waiting for you. Go see him. Hey. Oh. Forget about it. Let's go, Mary. Huh? What's up? <clears throat> Don't you know this isn't a time for the- What? She can't see it? Because who do you keep talking to? I- You need to find David. No, okay, I think I see. Those- The three people, Sissy, D, and Fluffy- they could only be seen by Paul and not Marin, which means that Paul knows something that needs to be told to David. <clears throat> so that's it. Marin, go and leave the hospital. Sorry for uh, trying to spook you. Don't worry, I'll find David. Wait, I'm staying with you. If anything happens to you, I'll be putting two family members in danger. Please, just trust me. All right, come back quickly. Right. <coughs> Just wait for me, David. Right. So I guess I gotta pick my options carefully. So... Well, here we are. That moment of truth. What are you doing out there? Oh, here we go. <clears throat> okay, I have no control now. David? Paul, why are you here? Came to pick you up. I'll ask for a good explanation home. For now, you're coming home. Forget about me. Just leave me alone. Hey, D stay. Oh, jeez. Hey, you. I keep walking, I see nothing. I'll never ever be happy. I'm a crooked man. No matter what, 
that's what I'll be. And those are the only things I'll have. <clears throat> hey, what's that? Agni. Ag living as Agni. Nothing will go how I want it. So right here, right now. David. Uh... Taking the gun would definitely mean that it's gonna, that I'm gonna be taking the shot if I guess. I can't, I'll try a punch. It's not a guarantee, but. Ow. You did, you get away from dude. Hey, stop, stop, ow. Hiya! That hurt you! Stop, you moron! <clears throat> David, you're back with us? Don't say that I went nuts. I've been sane from the start. Like hell, if that's the kind of thing you do to sane, I have to be up to you. Promise not to. Now, about this stuff you've been doing, you better tell me everything that happened. Okay, so the punch was the right idea. <coughs> Sissy, D, and Fluffy, and that crooked monster. So you believe in mon in the monster. That's my occult fanatic. Well, let's see. It's not exactly fanaticism. Don't I always tell you that I see things? You and Marin never believe me. Sheesh. Yep, I was, I was right. That I... <clears throat> and that explains it. Occult. David was part of the... I'm guessing David had some sort of power that let him see things, and the only reason David saw that crooked monster is because he was being targeted, at least I believe. But then that would make that wouldn't make sense for David because all this stuff happened after uh Paul left the room and and David started living in that room in the first place, so I'm still missing something. <clears throat> oh, it's about Sissy, D, and the kiddo. I think I've met him. Fluffy, maybe, but Sissy and D wouldn't be here. <laughs> Listen, Dave, people's consciousness, they sort of stick, sort of stick around in places. More of your occult schlick? You're seriously making fun of the cult after this? Just listen and no jokes. <clears throat> so you had it pretty similar to the guy who... Similar to the guy who lived in your room, right? Shattered dreams, bad breakup, family trouble. <laughs> when I first looked at the place, it was fine. But once you moved it, I had this strange feeling. From you and the room. I had to guess the guy's conscience was a perfect match for, with you. Gotta be why you wanted to meet the guy too. <clears throat> so you're saying he's calling me. Yep. And you're unconsciously responding. Some people are soft-hearted to a core and always sympathize with others. And they get taken advantage of the most. So, I don't, don't, look, don't I barely know the guy? You know a little from the stuff he left. And that was all the stuff you could identify with. So, what would you think of a guy who's the spitting image of you? Would you hate or Hate him or like him? I don't know. I'm guessing both. Same as him. Think back. The crooked man tried to kill you. Tried to drag you with him. <coughs> but on the other hand, weren't there people who relied on you? Who wanted your help? What? Oh yeah, Sissy, D, and now Fluffy. <coughs> He hated you, but he liked you. He thought he could share in, he could share in suffering with you, so he was seeking your help. And that's why you met those people. That's what I'm thinking. Honestly, I'm not sure if it's right. It's not quite right. He wasn't seeking my help. He he helped me, got me back on my feet. <laughs> Again, 
that's you and him being similar. Oh, I think I see. I'm thinking that he might, the crooked man, if it is, is that, oh, I think I got an idea. What's up? There's something in my pocket. When did I pick this up? An address? I don't think that's far. <clears throat> I'm going. I have to meet him. You could always not. What if something happens? I feel like if I don't go, the crooked man will follow me forever, so I'm going. David. <clears throat> you come back to us safe. I don't want to go to my friend's funeral. Yeah, I know. Thanks. So I'm thinking, just with that conversation, it might be a a cry to change a change the life like change your in the sense of a uh, i guess change your path before you end up like me kind of thing but then how did the man die how did the crooked man die i think it could be from a uh hanging because the crooked the only unless i'm wrong the only way you could get a crooked like that is if you were hung that and that is a method of suicide suicide at least <coughs> scene five home sweet home <laughs> so this is the house <coughs> could this be his house huh excuse me can i have a second what? Ain't seen you around here. Going for a stroll? No, not actually. Who lives here? Do you know them? <clears throat> oh, you mean Mrs. Mc McHagan? Someone named McHagan lived here? Not anymore. Mrs. McHagan la passed away last year. The house has been neglected ever since. Waste of a fine house it is. Oh yeah, I think she had a son. Was she just rented out or sell that house? Do you know anything about her son? Nah, never seen him. I only moved here a few years back. Heard he was living in an apartment a ways away. I see. That's all. I gotta get home by daybreak or my wife will be vivid. It's good to be walking in the morning, but it sure is cold. Don't catch cold or nothing. Huh? Yes, thank you. You too. <clears throat> well, that apartment ways away. So, the Mahagan son, if we were to take just that, uh, the Mahagan son must have rented the apartment. And the apartment... Oh, I think I see who... It's definitely Mahagan son, so that means... He... And the wife and the mother died and died of, I guess, of year ago so that means he must uh it all fits he must have died somewhere in here come back and hung himself after writing all those notes <clears throat> oh geez yep it doesn't explain father just the mother so yeah if we go through all of this, okay, that re reference sissy, scrapbook one at least. <coughs> yep, definitely sissy. Uh, scrapbook three. <coughs> I have to erase everything. Uh, hotel room. Okay. <clears throat> and still, who refused to pick me and left me in the dust? I load those meaningless day. So he, let me. Told I'm a have not. Okay, so. Right. It all 
David's mirroring the man, the crooked man's uh life. It's locked. What about this key? What? Hey. Here we go. Wash basin. Back in it. Bath water is nice. Smells bizarre. Well. Well, I can't go through there. <coughs> Whoa, what is that there? Small bookshelf. Old telephone. Ooh, piece of paper right there. So, I recall the rhyme of the crooked, crooked man. All he could do was live in a crooked house with a cat mouse just as crooked. I was the same. Everything I wished up for ended up crooked. My dreams, love, even my family. How did the crooked man live? Was he sorrowful in the depths of despair? Such a life has no meaning. So, that man is here. So, I'm guessing he must have killed himself in here somewhere. Gash on the wall. Definitely. Oh, there's the paper as well. Scuffed up. Let's check before anything else. Old junk. Tools and equipment. The hotel, school, and hospital. It was all, it was the same at all of them. My saddest memories wouldn't go away. All the major disappointments. Writing wouldn't calm down my heart in my end. In the end, my festering heart just oozes more and I tear the paper. Mine is an existent, empty existence. I have nothing to leave behind, not even words. <laughs> so I guess I should save here. I have a gun and ammo just in case. <clears throat> oh, fallen radio, drab bed. What? Women's clothing. Okay. Notebook scrap. <laughs> why, why, why? No, 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 no. Alright, well. Okay. What's this here? Out of cigarettes, I need a smoke. Well, <clears throat> what's in here? Black covered notebook. Matches the scraps I have. Combine all the scraps into the notebook. <clears throat> There's a name on this. Duke, New Duke McHagan. McHagan. Gahan. Duke. So this is Duke's room. I can't say. Old and have not. All right. Our... Such why why why. I need a smoke. Okay. So I'm uh, close to the end. <clears throat> well. Okay. Well. Crooked man. I I can't go over to your side. He's up there, isn't he? Then I'm gonna... Then I'll be going there. This'll be the end. Right. Right. Oh, shoot! He has one hell of... 
Ah! Shit! Ah! Okay, gotta be careful. Shit! Okay, well, ah! I can't let him. Ah, come on now. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, shoot, shoot. No, 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 no. Okay. Ah. Ah, shit. That hurt. That really hurt. All right, here we go. Hot shots. Ah, uh, god damn it. Oh, okay, there we go. <clears throat> huh. I'm not going to be like you. You won't catch me. As much misery as I encountered, as painful and bloody it might be, I'll keep living. So, be gone. <clears throat> yep. That's what David really needed. The will to survive. To persevere. And that's what the whole... The whole scrap with from Duke's notebook was. A, I guess a wake-up call, I guess. It might be pried open. Let's see. <clears throat> Duke. Oh, wow. You, you detested me. Even I, though I live such a similar life, you hate how I live comfortably. So you wanted to drag me down, to take me with you. But didn't you want to be saved deep down, so you called me? No, that's not right. You were trying to help me, to tell me don't come the way I've come. <clears throat> Thank you. Nothing will make you suffer anymore, so when, where are you going? It's a good place, so... Now you can rest in peace. I'm watching the ending. Ah, sounds like a real ordeal, David. I mean, finding the courts while you're on a trip, trip, but it sounds like it ended all up all right. I'll get you some tea. <laughs> he was beaten by the crooked man. He was dragging, dragged to the other side. So he. And again, they, Duke uh, lost to the Crooked Man. It was bound by misery. <clears throat> the Crooked Man was always right behind me. I realized he was there. Every time I was at, I felt like he was whispering to me. I knew if I acknowledged it, I was done for, so I tried not to think about it. It all... If all this didn't happen, I think sooner or later, I'd take his same path. Thinking of it that way, he really did save me. Always such an easy target, aren't you? This is why you got dragged into this. It's fine. The crooked man is gone. Huh? Hello? <clears throat> huh? Oh, it's David! Okay, I'll head there right now. I'll head there right there. What's up? Who is it? The hospital. Mom's condition took a turn. They're preparing to do the operation. 
Take my bag. Blake, it's faster. You gotta go. Don't sit here. Don't sit there staring. <coughs> Mom's condition. To be honest, this was rather risky. Removing the tuber isn't difficult, but she might not have the strength to. Doctor, please, my mom. She's the only family I have. Please. <clears throat> Sign this. We're getting ready now. We'll do the best job we can. Okay. That is always the hardest uh, signature anyone has to write. Signing, pretty much signing the life or death of a loved one. But mom, huh? The tumor is successfully removed. She's still sleeping. We might have a chance if she wakes up. Together, tonight will be the biggest hurdle. Have faith in her. <clears throat> hey! David? Ma? Oh, thank God. You woke up. You really... I felt like I was in darkness. I was scared, screaming. I must have worried you. And all those things I did to you. I'm so sorry. It was hard, wasn't it? It's okay. You helped me open my eyes. <clears throat> I was so unhappy. I was always just struggling to be happy. But I didn't give my mother happiness she needed. After all the hard hardness I had given her. I, I'm foolishly doubted. Though I wasn't loved, wasn't needed, that's why I... Do you hate me for it? Don't be silly, David. Indeed, you and I both. It's hard to say we're always happy. But even in sad times, you are always honest. You lived a straight and honest life. I'm so proud of you. Having us, you as a son was my greatest happiness. <clears throat> Don't focus on the sad things, and I'm sure you'll notice all the happiness hidden around you. Oh yeah. <coughs> Davy, I'm thirsty. Can you bring me some water? Sure, just a sec. Huh? Did she pass out or die? It would suck if she died. What? Flatline? Oh no. Mom. <clears throat> God damn it. <laughs> she got a good funeral. I'm sure your mo mother's happy now. You gotta be tired, huh, David? You okay? She told me she was happy in the end. If I'm gonna live without blaming myself, those words are gonna help a lot. <clears throat> it's fine if I have to suffer. If I could be smiling in the end. David. Baron, why are you? Shirley, why are you? Hey, Shirley, I still ain't forgiving you. How dare you give David the cold chill? Ouch! <laughs> We're going. Okay, stop pinching me. Okay, I'm guessing Shirley's, uh, pulling up the apology. David, I heard about your mother. So you brought flowers, Shirley? Mom always likes you, so I bet she's glad. Thanks. David, I was uneasy. I was unsure of where I was going. Worried that the road I was walking would be full of twists and turns. So I took it out on you and your kindness. You never let me down, but how did I repay you? I'm really the worst of the worst. <laughs> I'm sorry. Maybe this is too late, but... David, is it okay with you? Would you like to... David, I'm sorry, please don't cry. 
I'm not sad, I'm just... Even though my dreams were crushed and I lost, just lost my only family, I'm just so happy you came back. It's okay, Shirley. However, off kilter things get, we can't set them straight. If it means, if that's what we want, <laughs> David. Tuh. You know what I think? The crooked man had a crooked body and only crooked things. But I'm sure he was happy living in his crooked house. Making do with the lot in your life, essentially. <clears throat> uh, oh, Duke McClay McClahan or however you pronounce the last name. I hope to see you again. Until then, rest in peace. Good end. Bye bye, Blackbird. Huh. Okay. Ah. <sighs> And that is the Crooked Man. Uh, I'm gonna see if there's anything else at the end of this, and see if there's if there's any reason to uh pretty much replay this game uh beyond this ending. But if there isn't anything, I'll see you in the next video. Well, more like uh, thank you for watching this video. If you like what you saw, throw this video a like, and if you want to see more contents like this, subscribe to my channel. Until then, I'll see you in the next video. Hello here. Congratulations. Thank you for playing the Crooked Man and congrats on the good ending. This is a bonus area. You'll lose access to it if you quit, so I recommend making a save. You can also begin a second playthrough here. About this series. <clears throat> uh, this ends Crooked Man, but the series continue with the Sandman, the Boogeyman, and the Hangman out as of 2017. Please try them if you like. Top player. Wait. Oh wait, I should actually... I should save right there. Uh... You can begin... The stories... The story battles and branches won't end, but some events toward the end will. Give it a shot if you want. Hello there. Hmm. Stories at the end. Uh. Yeah, uh, I think I'll probably go for it and I'll probably play through t closer towards the end and see if there's any changes from it. But if there isn't, uh, like I said, I'll see ya. I'll probably go see you in the Sandman.